In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use AI to sell websites for $2,000 to $10,000, how to use AI to deliver those websites in under five minutes, and how to find clients that are willing to pay that much for a website. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Bruno Souza, and I've built multiple seven-figure marketing brands, and now I show other people how to do the same. To do everything that you're gonna learn in this video, you are only going to need two tools, and that is gonna be D7 Lead Finder and Go High Level. So make sure to check the description below for links to both of them, along with all of the bonuses that you get when you sign up for either of them using one of my links. So step one is that if you want to sell websites for anywhere from two to ten thousand dollars you need to be able to justify that price point and so we need to start this video off by teaching you how because if you can't explain to a business owner why it's in their best interest to give you that much money for a website then the rest of this video doesn't really matter now the wrong way to sell websites in the way that most people from beginners to experts are out there selling websites is that they just tend to spam email blasts and cold call offering website redesigns to different businesses or the second method is that they kind of just wait around for web design clients to come to them but over Overall, these two approaches aren't the best because it puts you in a position where you're selling a commodity and commodities are really cheap. It's kind of like selling lumber to somebody when what they really need is a house. And so we've outlined the problem, which is that the typical marketer doesn't know how to sell websites for these high ticket amounts. And so how do we fix that problem? Well, instead of telling you, let me just show you. Imagine you have a local remodeling company that's grossing around a million dollars a year. Maybe they're already spending money on ads. Maybe they're already spending money on marketing. And so in order for this example to make sense, you have to understand the mathematics of business because also that's the only way to build a seven-figure company and so just to keep things simple let's say this local remodeling company is getting a thousand website visitors every month and out of those 1,000 let's say around 50 of them turn into sales that's about a five percent conversion rate because five percent of that website traffic is turning into closed projects and what this also means is that over the course of 12 months they're going to make 600 sales and if they're doing about a million dollars a year it means that every sale is about 1.6 K for them the actual number is 1,666 and so you're gonna see how this all all makes sense in just a second but just to recap you have a thousand website visitors times 12 months times a five percent conversion rate times a 1.6k average ticket sale and you get that company's revenue now my question to you is this what if we could take that five percent conversion number and double it to ten percent we would essentially double that business's revenue without having to increase their traffic without having to do any marketing or without implementing any complicated marketing skills meaning that by increasing the conversion rate on their website traffic we're able to net them an extra $1 million a year in revenue and double what they're making. And now hopefully you're starting to see where this goes because then the next question is like, well, Bruno, how do you double a business's conversion rate and what does this have to do with websites? And once again, instead of me telling you, let me show you. And I want you to remember that a typical and regular website is a commodity. You can get one on Wix for like $8. And so what we want to do is we wanna sell a very special type of website. It's a website where the priority isn't for it to look pretty, but the priority is instead for it to make as many sales as possible. And if we want a website that gets as many sales as possible for our customers, well, it makes sense to have a couple of extra secret things baked into this website, like an AI chatbot to talk with the visitors, an AI employee on the back end where when somebody fills out a form on that website, the AI automatically reaches out to them. Maybe even an AI answering service where if somebody calls the number on that website, and let's say it's after hours, there's an AI employee there to speak with the customer and turn that after hours call into into a book sales appointment. Maybe it's also a website that helps business owners track their customers, nurture their leads, and bring in as much revenue as humanly possible. You see, everyone else can only sell websites for low prices like 500 bucks, maybe a thousand bucks, because they sell commodities. If you remember from my example from earlier, what they're really selling is lumber. What digital marketing clients need and what they're willing to pay 10,000, sometimes even $20,000 for, is they need an entire house built. And so hopefully you're starting to understand the analogy here, where if you take anything away from this first section, is that if you're only focused on selling regular websites, you're gonna be stuck selling them for anywhere from eight to 500 bucks. But if you can sell a website that increases a business's conversion rates, not only can you make them buckets of money, but you get to charge even two thousand five thousand ten thousand dollars for yourself which brings us to the second part of this video which is how do you pitch this website now in a way I just pitched the website to you so the way that you saw me pitch it is kind of the structure here where what we have to do is outline the value that the client is going to gain over the course of 12 months from having a new and improved website that's going to outperform their existing one and so the pitch looks something like this mr. client if I could double the revenue that your website brings in without you having to spend an extra dollar on marketing would that be something that you're open to and that's it 
that's the pitch because then all we have to do is go to the qualification stages and start asking the client, okay, Mr. Client, I'm glad that you're interested. Is it all right if I ask you a couple questions to see if this would even work for you? And at that point, you can just ask them if they have all the different services that we can fulfill using high level, such as lead nurturing, an AI employee that answers phone calls, that handles the web chat, that reaches out to new leads. And the more times they say no, the bigger the results that you can get for them by implementing a website that comes built with all of these features. And to sell these websites, you really don't have to overdo sales. All you need is the pitch, which we just went over, to qualify the customer by asking them questions, and then number three, to present your solution, which then brings us to the next part in the video, which is how do we find the ideal clients? Now, if you haven't realized it yet, there's an interesting distinction that happens with the way that I just showed you how to pitch and how to sell, because the intuitive thing for you to do would be for you to try to sell websites to brand new business owners, because those are going to be the people that don't have websites, so they're probably the ones that need it the most right? The answer is no. Trying to sell websites to brand new business owners is kind of like trying to sell real estate to the homeless. They're the ones that are actually going to benefit the least from our services because they don't have the traffic, they don't have the marketing, they don't have that existing revenue, and lastly, they don't have the money to pay 5 or 10k for a site. Instead, what this means is that we are going to be pitching to already established businesses, ones that already have websites, people that are spending money on ads and investing in their marketing, and what we're really looking for are the businesses that they may have a good-looking website but that website lacks all of the conversion systems that I just talked about. So to find our ideal customers, we're going to go to a website called D7 Lead Finder. They're going to have three plans over here. I do recommend the most expensive plan because you probably only need it for one month and then you're good to go for like a year. With just one month of D7 Lead Finder, you can get about 900,000 leads. That's what we use in my marketing agency, so that's what I'm going to recommend. But do make sure to check the description below because if we do find a better provider, then that's the link that you'll see down there. But once you've signed up for D7 Lead Finder, you're going to go over to bulk search. You're going to pick the industry that you want to target. So let's just say something like plumbers. And then the cool thing is it already comes with the top 100 cities in all these different places. So we're going to do top 100 cities in the United States and we're looking for plumbers. And then we can name our file plumbers 100 cities and we can hit fetch leads. And now it's gonna start working and pulling that data for us. Now, for the sake of us not having to wait for a list to pull up, I've gone ahead and just pulled an old one up of restaurants in Boston. And then all we wanna do is we wanna filter this to see who's in business and who's already established. And there's no real easy way of doing that, so we have to use some proxies. And so some of the things that we're gonna look for is, first, we're gonna set filters by going over in this first column and then clicking the filter button. Then we want to go over to Google and we want to look at their Google reviews and essentially you want to set a number filter to set this for more than 30 reviews. This is going to give us a big list of businesses that are established while also filtering out kind of the bad ones, the ones that don't have reviews or maybe they're startups and probably wouldn't benefit. We're going to post that second list here. Next up, we're going to set another filter. We're going to sort it for A to Z, and then we just want to get rid of the ones that don't have emails here. And so, as you can see, we have about 938 leads. And if you wanted to even further filter this out, for example, by the number of Instagram followers or if there's Instagram accounts, there's going to be all sorts of different ways for you to figure out who's an established business. There's going to be all sorts of different ways for you to play around here with D7 Lead Finder with who's an established business. Now, look, copywriting has to be one of the hardest digital marketing skills to learn out there. It takes years to master, but there's a way to shortcut that process, and it's using AI. Okay, we have a list of 938 people. How do we turn them into clients? And the answer is going to be through email marketing. You don't have to cold call. You don't have to go show up in person. You can just use email. But Bruno, I'm not a good email marketer, I hear you say. Well, no worries, because copywriting has to be one of the hardest skills out there. But there's a cool little way that we can leverage AI to do the copywriting for us. And so I'm going to switch over back over to the screen here. And what we can do is we can post this prompt that you see here. And now Claude is going to start building out our email outreach sequence for us. And while it's happening over on Claude, I'm going to switch over to ChatGPT. And while Claude has written it out, I'm going to paste this prompt here. And I'm essentially going to tell ChatGPT to make whatever Claude just outputted better. And so I just paste it into ChatGPT, hit go. And then we're going to get the revised script. But point is, we're going to use AI to build our emails 
And while one AI is working, so is the other one. And while the emails from the AIs aren't going to be perfect, they're going to give us everything that we need to get started and hopefully enough examples where we can build a large outreach sequence. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the output, all these different emails, and we're just going to plug them into Go High Level for our outreach sequence. And then here's how I would build an outreach sequence in High Level. Now, by the way, if you don't want to build this out yourself, if you are an affiliate of mine or become an affiliate of mine, you're going to get this pre-built for you along with all the other automations that you see in all of my videos completely for free. And if you want to become an affiliate, all you have to do is start the 30 day free trial of high level or upgrade to SaaS mode. And if you do upgrade to SaaS mode, check below for all the other bonuses that I offer to my SaaS affiliates. But anyways, we're going to start this email sequence off with a split campaign. We want to do a split test to see what email performs best and we're going to grab two of them. We can post one email here and we can have the other email there. Now what both of these paths do is we're waiting for a response. If the customer responds, you're going to get an immediate notification and we're going to get tagged that that's a hot lead. But if they don't respond, then we're going to continue the follow up sequence by sending them a second outreach email. And then just like before, we'll wait again for another response. If they don't respond, we get a third. And if they don't respond, once again, we get a fourth email to go out. And the emails that you need to structure this out, all you have to do is once again, take it from ChatGPT and plug it in. And so now that you have your email sequence built out, all you have to do is take the list from D7 Lead Finder you're going to go into high level you're going to use the import contacts feature here you're going to click that you're going to select your d7 lead finder and then you're just going to upload the list once you have a list uploaded to get your campaign going you can just use the add to automation button here and it's going to fire off for you and so now this brings us to the part where we actually have to deliver for the clients on that amazing website and let me show you how to do that so starting off what you want to do is we want to go over to high level we want to go to the sites section go over to websites and we're going to click the new website button here and then we're going to start from a template instead of starting from scratch. What you want to do is you want to find a template that suits for the niche that you're going to be working with. So let's just say you're starting your marketing agency and you want a marketing agency template. Even though I see some here, we're just going to go ahead and click marketing agency to filter these templates out. And we can see that high level actually has quite a lot of them. And so now that we're here and we see all these marketing agency templates, you can really go for any of them because every single one of them is already optimized and follows best practices. And so I'm just going to go with the first one here and click on marketing agency. Now, keep in mind, this isn't the website you're building for yourself. These are going to be the websites that you're building for your clients. And so while this is adding the template here, I'm going to have my editor pause and come back once it's ready. And so now that we have our website template, I want to show you how in seconds you can customize these websites so that they're unique to every client. But so that you can still charge two, five, even $10,000 every time you're selling them, even though you're only having to do five, maybe 10 minutes of work. So starting off, the first thing we need to customize is gonna be the colors on the website to match our clients. And so we wanna grab the colors on a potential client's website. And so let's just say we're doing it for Roto-Rooter here. All you have to do is click inspect. So you right click anywhere on the page, you click inspect and then this menu opens up here. Now we can scroll down and anywhere that we see a color here, we can then go ahead and click on the color. And I know if you've never done this before, it can be a little weird, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, it is no problem. And then we're gonna click on the eyedropper. And now with the eyedropper, we can click on anything on their website and it's going to give us the color code for it. And so let's take this purple here, which is a color that we see throughout their website. How do we then change this website in seconds without having to go individually click on everything? Well, if you're an affiliate of mine and you go over to the custom value section of your snapshot, you can go to the website area here where we have primary color. We can just go click edit custom value and then anywhere on the website where we had that blue color before and we hit update, we're going to see that it changes to purple. And so now I'm going to click refresh here and boom, just like that, everywhere that we had blue, we now have purple. It's instantly changed. And if you wanna know how that was done, shout out to Ross Williams for teaching me that trick. And it's a really cool way of just adding custom values to the color codes on the website. And now I've gone and put this into the template for you, meaning that you guys are gonna come with a website like this, that in order to customize it to meet your client's colors and branding, literally all you have to do is just put the colors in here and it's going to load and then just copy the content from their website, literally copy and paste. Like, let's say we're doing this for Rotorooter once again. 
experts in plumbing. So we would just grab this and we would start customizing by pasting it. So that in under 10 minutes, we can essentially create this website and have it fully branded for our clients. Now, once again, this is completely different to how people traditionally sell websites, which is every one of them, they're trying to sell a unique, creative design where what we're doing here is we're selling an efficient website that's designed to convert leads. And what's even better is that if you just stick to the same niche, the same industry, you can literally have the exact same website and be reselling it over and over and over and over again and charging five, 10, $15,000, depending on the company that you're working with. Because once again, the way that we sell, we don't sell a commodity, we sell based on the value that we can deliver. And if we're working with a company that's bringing in, let's say a million dollars in revenue, and we can get them even a 30% increase, that's an extra $300,000 in sales that they're gonna be able to bring in that year because of the website you've put in. And so selling it for $10,000, no big deal. And so this now brings us to the final topic, which is then how do we add in all of the AI to the website so that the website can get those higher conversion rates? Now look, every single piece of the AI, that's going to require its own individual video, which you're going to see around my channel. But the short answer is that if you want all of it already pre-built, if you wanna learn more how to build the AI, then either go watch the other videos on the channel or become an affiliate. You'll receive an invite to my community and you'll get a high level snapshot with all of this already pre-built and done for you. And the two ways to do that are to start your 30 day free trial or to upgrade to SaaS mode. But with that said, in the other videos you see around my channel, maybe I've already recorded them, maybe they're the ones that are coming in the future, you're gonna see me break down all the individual pieces of the AI and it's gonna be all ready to go out the box with the template that you're seeing here. And so with that said, make sure you do ring that bell notification subscribe and like so that you are notified when those future videos do drop because in a couple weeks this is basically going to be a seven figure business tutorial that I'm putting together here for you guys anyways I hope you got a ton of value from this video if you did let me know what stood out to you in the comments below and if you have any questions leave them there as well for those of you that are becoming affiliates I'm excited to work with you help you succeed help you build your SaaS and cheers to your journey to seven figures